Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have another $5 uh, pop-up sale. So everything I show is going to be $5, and they're going to be sold, some are in lots, some in singles, and I'm going to hold up a number uh, associated with that item. If you're interested in purchasing that item, be the first to claim it in the comments below. If you prefer, you can send me an email um, about it. I do get things in kind of chronological order, so I can follow who um, is submitting things first. And uh, yeah, so you just have to put the number in um, the comments. You don't really need to put in too much more, and then I can follow it. Um, I will give a little heart or a you got it or something to let you know that you are the one who is um, claiming that item. Um, again, some are singles, some are lots. Um, let's see, if I think of anything else I need to say, um, I will uh, pop it in there. Um, otherwise, if you happen to be new to my channel, uh, please do subscribe. I do sales, live sales every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. And I also do haul videos also. And you can purchase uh, most of the items I show in a haul video directly from the haul. Um, okay, I'm gonna start with a pair. And let's see if I can get this up here. Woo. So I have two cups and two saucers. And they are in these really cute little, I think that these are, I don't know. To me, they look more like peonies than roses, but I'm going to get it close up here and you can take a look and see. Um, each one has just the little two on there. Now, this is by a company. Let me see if I can get it right in there. It's um, Ma, M A H, and then it says um, Vigo, I believe. And then underneath that, it says Santa Clara. And so I'm not sure if the pattern name is Santa Clara. It might be. So here are the two saucers. And you can see they've got this pretty design in them. And then I'll show the cups here. And they also continue with that pretty design and more of the floral pattern. And again, not quite sure if those are roses or peonies. Looks like it could go either way. You can see that um, these were used. There's ever so slight bit of wear there on some of the flowers. I will show that. Here is the mark again. And get a closer look at that. There's like a lion on top of it. And then when it sits on the saucer, that's how it looks. Really pretty. And then here is the other cup. I'll give it a quick little twirl. And again, for the pair of them, $5 for the pair. And they are number one. Okay, also matching that pair, I have a cream and sugar. So here is the sugar. Same company, same pattern. Here is the lid. I'll show the inside here. Might be just an ever so slight little chip right there. Um, this one might have the marking a little clearer. And then here is the little creamer. Got nice gold there and on the handle. And again, the same company. And for the cream and sugar, $5, $5 for the cream and sugar. And they are number two. Okay. Uh, next up, I've got a salt and pepper shaker. These are cute little mice. This is plastic. They're made in Hong Kong. So they're probably from the late 60s, early 70s. He's got a little S right there. 
and she's got the little P. Here is the back. You can see they're on like a little piece of Swiss cheese. And I'll try to get the Made in Hong Kong to show there. Um, they both have their stoppers. Oops. There and there. And then I will take them out real quick. And you can see they've got the little slots that they fit right into there. Here's the underneath of the plastic that also says Made in Hong Kong. And they are $5 for the set. Oh, they're holes. Forgot to show. She's got the holes on top there. And then he's also got the hole. Holes? Maybe just one hole. Uh, they are $5. Number three. Okay, I've got another teacup and saucer. This one is beautiful with the roses on it. We've got pink roses, yellow roses, and then kind of a silvery purple rose. The um, saucer does match the pattern, and the pattern goes all the way around on the teacup. This is by Gladstone. Uh, bone china made in England, and the pattern is rosemary. And the cup and saucer, $5. And these are number four. All right, next I have a teacup or a teapot. There we go, a teapot. <laughs> this is a cute little house with the like roses growing up, little pink roses on there. You can see the little door, window. We've got more of them growing up the spout. And the back is a little more plain with just the um, window back there. Little thatched roof. There is the inside. And I do not see any chips. Double checking, but nope, I don't see any chips along the rim. And the bottom is not marked. However, I have a feeling this was made in China. Um, I don't feel any um, chips on the spout either, but $5 for this little teapot. And it's probably a, oh gosh. Capacity wise, um, let's see, eight, maybe a 10 ounce, maybe 12, maybe you could um, get two little six ounce <laughs> servings or maybe five ounce servings of 10 ounces out of there. Uh, but it's five, no, ten, $5 and it's number five. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Too many fives. Okay. Another cup and saucer. This time it's um, Swiss. And here it is. It's got this beautiful blue flower and a fantastic little textured design. This is raised so you can feel it. Um, it is bigger than a Demitas size. Um, again, it's probably going to hold the same amount of ounces as this one possibly because it's wider at the bottom. So you're probably going to get that five ounces or so um, in here. I'll hold it so you can see that flower. It's on both sides. And this is a silver um, tone trim on it. Here is the mark. Oops, there we go. This is Lang Langenthal, and it's Swiss. Now the saucer is nice because it is raised right here, and the cup fits perfectly in there, and it doesn't wiggle around. So if you want to carry it with you, take it to another room, you can, and you don't have to worry about the cup sliding around on there. And this has the same nice textured pattern on it. 
and it is also Mark Langenthal Swiss. And this is $5, and it is number six. Okay, next up, I have a hand-painted Nippon plate. This is gorgeous, beautiful hand painting on this. And I'm going to say they're kind of pink roses, some kind of a pink flower. This makes me think a little more of a rose was intended on that. Um, it is about a seven and a half inch plate has a pretty luster to it. And then let me make sure I'm getting it the right direction here. Oops, there we go. So you can see hand painted Nippon, beautiful plate, $5. And it is number seven. Okay. I've got another Swiss teacup. This one has, I don't know if it's like a strawberry or maybe a thistle. I'm not quite sure what that design is supposed to be. Um, that same raised texture that was on the other one and the cup again fits really nice on that saucer that also has the raised texture. Again, these are Swiss Langenthal and silver trim again. And the pattern is on each side. And this cup is $5. And it is number eight. Okay. Oops. Okay, slight tangle. <laughs> One second to, there we go. I think I can get this there. Okay. <laughs> I have two of these amazing shell necklaces. Look how long that is. It is, oh my goodness. Um, let's see, that is about 12. So this would be 24 inches. And oh, these shells are amazing. Look how gorgeous they are. This is definitely something you could wear or you could use this as a beautiful home decor piece. Look at all of those amazing shells. And yep, this necklace is going to be $5, $5 for this amazing necklace. And it is number nine. I've got another one, same size, little darker shell. That one was ivory with just a hint of, um, like just a hint of tan on them. These are a little darker shell with just a hint of ivory on them. Oh, these are so beautiful. And again, $5 for this necklace. And it is um, 24 inches long, $5, and it is number 10. Okay, next up, I have a beautiful dog figurine. Not quite sure what type of dog this is supposed to be. Um, it is made in Japan. So um, maybe more along the lines of like an Aikido or something like that, possibly. Um, interesting that it has the two marks on it. It has the one stamped in and then it has the ink one also um, stamped into the ceramic. Beautiful dog. Um, he measures about four and a half inches long and about three inches tall. 
and he is five dollars number eleven and i have got this really fun vintage snow globe it is for reno nevada yep some of the water has evaporated out of it but look at that fun scenery for Reno, Nevada. It's got a little bit of glittery um, snowflakes in it. And the calendar does work because I did um, set it to today, Monday, September 13th. Um, so I was able to move all of the dials and set them to the right date. Um, interestingly, there's a little slot back here. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, it doesn't seem like this is supposed to be for a bank or anything because there's really no way of taking off the bottom. thought that was kind of interesting. Um, also fun that it does have the original price tag on here from Circus Circus. So that is fun. And then it is made in Hong Kong. So just a fun little um, calendar. It's the kind that you can change the date on every day. Um, and it is $5, and it's number 12. And let's see. Um, okay. I have got this. I was trying to see if this is the last one, but no, it's not. I've got a couple more items. Beautiful um, pair of cups. This is, um, it says, hand-painted prairie flower, Japan. And yeah, it just kind of has a little boho feel to it. And I love the really um, angular handle on it. That is really fun. And for the pair, $5 and number 13. Okay, forgot I had some linens. So this is an interesting thing. Um, not your traditional linen that you're going to find, but beautifully handmade. Look at this stitch. Oh, this is so good. And so what this is, is it's a, it's a collar. Like, um, so if you had like a dress, you would put the material and add this on. So these are the sleeve holes. Let me get it. Yep, just like this. So here are the sleeve holes. And then this part becomes the collar across the back. This is the back. So imagine this is behind me on the back. And then over here again, we've got the sleeve holes right there. And then this part is the open part for the front. Oops. And so then you could put however you were going to form this around your outfit um, to what kind of a clasp you would want on there. But isn't that gorgeous? Handmade um, little lacy collar. Could be for a dress, um, for a blouse, um, a jacket. Oh, would be so good. And again, look at that stitch. And this is going to be $5. And it is number 14. And I have another one. This one is a different stitch. Like a floral pattern. Beautiful flowers. And then again, let me get this going this way. Okay. So again, we've got the shoulder. We've got the opening right here for the arm. This part goes across the back and then over here for the arm again. And then this part, however you want to do up the front of, again, your dress, your blouse, your jacket, then that goes right on the top. And oh, you have this beautiful crocheted collar. Again, that floral pattern, $5, and it is number 15. 
And I've got one more item. This is a cross stitch sampler. And it is um, the Solomon Richardson house in old um, Sturbridge Village. Um, interestingly, when I did research on this house, um, for some reason, the new owners um, painted it white, which I find kind of strange. I think it looks really good in red, but they painted it in white. So having a red version of this house, um, which I guess is, is kind of a historical house. Um, yeah, you don't find the red ones anymore. You got to make it yourself. <laughs> so here it is. Um, you can see the cross stitch is beautifully done. And it has all the fun little samplers of the alphabet on it and the numbers. Here is the back section of it. You can see, yep, hand stitched. This one, let's see, this is, well, I'll measure 13 by about. So the pattern part, the part that's colored here, not the white part, but just the part that you would be framing is about 10 by 13 on there. So again, $5 for this, and it is number 16. Um, so that is uh, all the items that I'm going to show today. Um, again, all of these are $5. And to claim an item, just put it, um, just put the number in the comments below. Or if you're more comfortable, you can send me an email. I do get these things in chronological order. So I am able to see who is submitting numbers first. And um, if you have questions on anything, um, feel free to contact me or again, you can leave a comment below. And um, let's see, I think that's pretty much it. So don't forget to um, sub subscribe, like, and share the video. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.